Hey, how's it going everybody? Burp right here and in today's food review, I'm checking out Taco Bell's new Naked Chicken Chalupa. So, let's start the show. Taco Bell released this naked chicken chalupa and apparently it is a fried chicken breast, a breaded fried chicken breast that's in the shape of a taco shell and all of the toppings and stuff go inside of that so the meat is literally on the outside stuffed inside you've got lettuce, tomato, cheese and then some sort of so somewhat it's like a southwestern kind of chipotle ranch sauce or, or I don't know exactly what it is but um, honestly when I first heard about this I thought and it's kind of a gimmicky idea. It sounds pretty stupid to me, but you know, I love trying new stuff from Taco Bell. So like everything else I've gotten from them, I had to give this one a shot. Now where you live, it's probably $2.99, just like it is most places across America. But here in my area of Florida, these things are $3.19. Thankfully, it's only 20 cents more most of the time. It's really strange because I'll, I'll watch other fellow YouTubers do reviews from stuff from Taco Bell, and I always end up paying 50%, sometimes 75% or more than what they're paying. So it's kind of strange. It sucks that prices vary from restaurant to restaurant. I wish that uh, you know when they advertise something nationally as being one price that we can all get at that same price. All right, but enough about the cost. Ooh, all right. Let's take a look at what's inside of this neatly folded wrapper here. Oh, well that's not so good. I gotta pull it, open it, and all of the cheese was just sitting on top apparently. Let me scoop that in so that this looks a little bit more appetizing when I pull it out. Probably should have put the cheese a little bit lower in there. All right, anyway, take a look at this thing. It comes in a handy dandy little cardboard holding thing <laughs> like this. And inside you have, bam, a strange looking creation, no doubt. It's a basically a fried chicken breast. So I'm assuming that if you were to just get this uh, without any of the toppings, if you're somebody who doesn't like lettuce or tomato, I mean, I'm guessing you're just gonna have basically a fried chicken shell. All right, but come on, man, I gotta give this a taste. It smells, uh, smells really, really good. All right, here we go, first taste. Alright, that is really good. That is so much better than what I was honestly expecting. I I really just didn't know going into this how <clears throat> how it would be. And wow, there is a nice little touch of spice. It just tickled the back of my throat there. Wow. I don't know if that is the sauce, which is really delicious. It's creamy, tasty, tasty. Um, or if it's the actual chicken itself. But wow, man, that is outstanding the chicken is nice and tender uh, yet there's still a slight crisp on the outside as far as the shell the inside is just juicy delicious man all right man this is so good let me devour this before i give you my uh, my final thoughts on this bad boy so you guys know i've been really harsh on taco bell lately for all sorts of reasons the fact that i have to pay more most of the time I go in, the place smells like dirty sanitizer water. Uh, you know, the, the employees aren't very respectful at times, aren't very nice, even though I'm overly nice. Um, but there's just a lot of myriad, plus I, I often feel like the food is just regurgitated carbon copies of previous special items they've rolled out. This is something completely different, something new, and I mean, man, they nailed this. This is something that could easily become part of their full-time menu if they didn't get tired of making it. I mean, this is absolutely outstanding. Again, if you don't like tomatoes, you don't like lettuce, you don't like cheese, you don't like all of those things, it's just going to be basically a plain uh, piece of chicken. But, um, man, it is really tasty. Again, not very spicy. There's just a slight little touch of it that's in the shell. That sauce is just absolutely, I don't know what it is, but damn, it is good. So for $3.19, I would definitely suggest picking this up. You can get a Cravings box all across America for about $5, but here in Gainesville, I think it's $5.79 or $5.69, but still it's worth it. You get one of these plus two tacos and a drink. That's plenty to fill you up. That's a meal all alone. You won't need anything more than that. Man, definitely give this one a try if you've even thought about it, if it looked at all tasty to you. Oh man, 
I am I am stuffed and happy that that is a winner. Great job, Taco Bell. You've you've uh, restored my faith in your ability to come up with some interesting specials. So anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to click this button right here to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And uh, if you're new to my channel, you can check out a couple of these links right here to see some of the other work that I do. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.